Well, good morning, everybody. How's everyone doing today? It's New Year's Eve 2023, <clears throat> uh, December 31st, 2023. One more day left of 2023. <clears throat> anyway, this is the aftermath video for the most recent little snow that we had. So I'm gonna just, we're gonna do the, <clears throat> the whole valley. Next big storm or next storm, it's gonna be a lot better. We're gonna do the whole entire valley from uh, like not just the dam and Baldwin Lake, but we're gonna do Irwin Lake, Sugarloaf, um, Upper Moon Ridge, stuff like that. So we're gonna do the whole valley. This one, there's no point. I just wanted you guys to see what it looks like on the snowy, <clears throat> on the snowiest part of town, which is where we're headed right now, compared to uh, the least snowiest part of town, which is Baldwin Lake. It should be a really pretty drive, even though there's not much snow. As you can see, there's just, I mean, you can't even tell that we got any snow, right? But it is really cold out here. And we're in the new car today, the car that I never drive, but it's 25 degrees. 6.54 in the morning. Got my seat heater on right there. Oh yeah. Ready to go. This is a beautiful car. This is a, a, a beautiful car. Check this out. If I hit this button on the rear view, it turns into a camera. Watch. Boom. <laughs> How cool that is. And it, I know. Stupid. To totally stupid. But I never drive this car anymore. Because I'm trying to drive my my older Subaru to the wheels fall off so I so I have this brand new car to drive <laughs> but again because uh, everything is so expensive and my other car is completely out of gas I decided since I have about three quarters of a tank in here I'll take this bad boy she needs to get driven a little more often anyway it's the 2023 Subaru Outback Touring XT beautiful car I never thought I'd say that about Subaru before I moved up here this was the I would have never bought a Subaru because I was ignorant I was ignorant I would have never done it but you know what uh, Subaru is a fantastic vehicle living in a snowy area I, I don't think I'd personally get get anything else I've been driving one for five years now and it's been perfect in the snow Every winter time, I, I put snow tires on. So on this new car, I also put snow tires on in the winter time as well. Um, so both my cars have snow tires on right now. And once summertime comes, they'll have their regular tires on. But yeah, cool. So we are going to start heading towards the snowiest part of town first. And this kind of a sunrise drive will be pretty nice. Actually very nice. Peaceful. Again, I just wish that we had a little more snow to, to write home about. But that's another reason why we're doing the aftermath so early. Because we want to stay out here during the freezing temperatures just to see where there might be a little bit of snow left. And I'm thinking over by the dam in some shady spots, we might have a little bit of a patches of snow excited to see I'm excited to see what you doing to me I hope everyone's having a wonderful weekend um, happy early new year pro pro probably not gonna do anything for a new year video but there is a chance tonight that that we might try to record the uh, snow summit doing this uh, special event. It's some some sort of a torch skiing and snowboarding thing where a bunch of people are holding uh, torches while skiing down from from the top, and it, it, it it's supposed to look pretty darn cool at nighttime. So it's some sort of a New Year's celebration, etc. I don't know much about it, but we might try to hit that up temperature's down to 24 now down from 25 so we're cooling off as a matter of fact though I want to get a couple of uh, let's see here let's uh, defrost 
defrost real quick. Where's my defrost button on this bad boy? Alright, yeah, we'll, we'll just do that button right there. That's not simple defrost because it gets your feet too, but oh well. Oh, this car is so smooth, it's so nice. What you're seeing is, I guess, a little bit from the snow yesterday. So yeah, that's great. That's great. On the roof of this uh, city hall building as well, and on the sides. So yeah, I guess, you know, the snowiest part of town is always living up to its name, and the further we go this way, hopefully we continue to get a little bit more. If I would have waited another hour or so, it wouldn't, we wouldn't have any, anything left over here, or maybe a couple hours. Temperature dropped down to 23, we're on Highway 18, um, if you want to know the conditions when it comes to the chains either go to the Caltrans website it's really simple guys it's the, it's the best way to get the most up-to-date info go to the Caltrans website type in your your highway number under highway conditions or road conditions and then uh, it'll let you know or call 800 Caltrans that is what I always suggest you guys do that's an automated system. It's really, really easy to use. And uh, it's very updated, very updated. They're always updating it. So I know yesterday at some point, chains were, were required from, I believe, Santa's Village all the way into town. Look at that, look at it. There, there's some snow on the rocks here still, good. Yeah, let me, uh, let me grab my other phone because my alarm's about to go off there. I used to tell her to cancel. Cancel my alarm. I turned off your 7:15 Okay. So, regarding the storm coming on the 6th, we have an, a, a little disturbance coming in a couple days, which could bring more snow than, than we just got. So that's cool too. But the one I'm looking forward to is the one on January 6th and January 7th. It keeps on fluctuating back and forth from maybe three to five inches to up to 10 inches. Our luck up here, it's always the lesser of the two. Every time, every time. Okay, so it looks like this Wednesday on the third, during the day, about one to three inches of snow And then at nighttime, just a chance of snow, no accumulation. Then once we get around this corner where it's safe to uh, get back to the weather forecast, we will do that. Because the roads are going to be a, a bit slick over here. Not too bad. Okay, so yeah, Saturday the 6th. It's so during the daytime, we have some snow showers and then a steady snow will start to begin in the afternoon. And at nighttime, three to five inches of snow is, is expected. So again, that will be our biggest snow event. As even this next Wednesday could be our biggest snow event with one to three inches. So yeah, so this is what it looks like for right now on the 6th. And let's go to the seventh. Snow accumulation is less than an inch during the day on Sunday the seventh. And then I didn't see anything after that. So let's just hope that we can maintain that at least. I wouldn't mind getting a, you know, three to five inches of snow. Even though it's still a little bit of snow, it that will literally transform this whole area into something just so wonderful. But yeah, a lot of this snow over here stuck. 
don't forget when we're on the other side of town which is only eight miles away remember that there was snow on this side of town again not much but when we get to baldwin lake you guys there's there's gonna be nothing 100 percent nothing even when we get through most of fawn skin there's gonna be nothing but yeah this is the snowiest part of town These people coming into town are not driving smart. They're like flying around these these corners. Since they don't see any snow in the road, they think that they're okay. I, I, I just hate, hate to see people come up here and get into accidents. It's just such the, such the vacation ruiner. Big Bear Dam. There's a little bit of snow in the road still. And all the way over there is Snow Valley Ski Resort in Running Springs right there. But yeah, we're turning around the dam. And the lake just looks spectacular right now. Oh my goodness. All right, so keep your eyes on, on the sides. As I said, it's just a dusting that you'll see in some areas, but not too far ahead, you're gonna start seeing nothing. And for the rest of the drive, it'll be nothing after these little patches are gone. I don't know that, because I, I haven't been over here, but lived here long enough. It's where I know these things. Temperature's jumping back up to 26. Let's get the map on here. It's such a beautiful view right there. The sun hasn't poked over the, that peak yet. Oh, it's just so gorgeous, you guys. I really am so lucky to live here. Just so lucky. Obstacle detected. It's because that car was hanging out into the road. Again, though, with as much traffic as we had up here for the holiday, <clears throat> as much as I wanted you guys to have a bunch of snow while you were visiting, at the same time, like, the driving was horrendous without any snow. So I'm, I'm probably, so many accidents were avoided because there wasn't any snow. This crazy driving up here. It really is people from from my neck of the woods orange county and especially la people bring bring their driving skills or or lack thereof in these in these types of conditions and uh, just yeah thankfully we didn't have snow but as i said of course i want you guys to have all the snow in the world because that's what you guys want to come up here for that's why i always visited up here if it didn't snow up here i'd probably still have have never come to this town but it's simply because of the snow and the winter and the cold, that's why I'm here. Absolutely no other reason. That is so beautiful, oh my gosh. It's just not fair that I get to live in such a beautiful place only thing this place is missing is since we're on the back side of the mountain and we have hills surrounding the whole area we can't see down the mountain from here but what would be awesome is like if if we had like that running springs type of a setting where we could see Palos Verdes, Catalina, 
um, the Riverside County Mountains, Orange County beaches. <clears throat> that would make it that much better. Coming up to one of my favorite views in all of Big Bear, it's this turn right here. This guy's house, this greenhouse right here, man, I've always been so envious of this dude. Right there, oh my gosh. Look what he gets to wake up to every single day. Look at that, something special right there. Can't beat that, you really can't. Let's see if my windshield wipers will work at 25 degrees. No windshield wiper fluid. Frozen. All right, so we are in the eagle habitat. Good morning, Jackie and Shadow. And your predators and your prey. Hope you guys have a good day. All right, we're coming into Fawn Skin. You should never speed anywhere you're driving up here, but especially when it comes to these little tiny towns always make sure you're going like no faster than the speed limit at all so the speed limit here is 25 miles per hour so you want to make sure you go 25 miles per hour coming up to grout creek right here there's no one behind us so we can kind of take a little look-see obviously there's no water flow yet next week's storm could be the beginning of that flow and I'm excited about that temperature has fallen down to 22 wow San Gorgonio is just completely covered with snow it looks so beautiful up there that big mountain in the very back there you guys if you can zoom in on that it's just epically covered already. I wish Big Bear was up there. Temperature keeps falling, it's 21 degrees. I'll bet you if we can get out to Baldwin before the sun gets up there, we'll be still in the teens out there. It's always colder out there. They get very, very little snow, but it's typically always colder out there. So hopefully, oh, the sun's peeking up over that mountain right there, so we're probably not gonna make it, but we still could get there while it's in the teens over there. I'm hopeful we can make that happen. But as you can see, no snow anywhere. I mean, I guess there's a little bit to the left. But I mean, really, not like it was over by, by the dam, which still wasn't anything. Lane departure. Wish I could find a little patch of snow, though, just so I could rub it on the windshield real quick. Clear up some of this... Uh, gotta be kidding me. Look at how pretty that is. Are you serious? That little cloud hanging low right there. Oh my gosh. So, so incredible. Good morning, 
right, son? How you doing? That just looks like we're in the middle of some sort of a, like cloudy nebula. It is something else. It's definitely something else. So I thought I might have a bottle of water here I can dump on the windshield. Highway 38, we are still on Highway 38, also known as North Shore, on this side of town. And then this turns into Highway 18, but then, funny enough, on the other side of the lake, Highway 18 turns into Highway 38. It's the weirdest, seriously, it's, it's the weirdest thing up here. It took me a while to get used to it. Dash cam for safety. That's how I uh, reported that thief to the police last week when they grabbed a whole bunch of stuff from 7 Eleven and ran out. My dash cam caught their car and uh, I mean, that made me so mad seeing those little douchebags do that. seems like down the mountain uh, they just let, let you get away with that stuff all, all it's gonna take is for some people to actually defend their business and teach these people a lesson and maybe some some other people will think twice about stealing from folks who work hard and sacrifice a lot to have a business to be able to you know sell sell stuff to the public. Oh my gosh, that's so bright. That is so bright. Woo. There's the summit right there. That is so bright, you guys. Holy smokes. Look at all that mist on the water. Oh, it's just so incredible. I'm telling you right now, you guys, that is so incredible. Like, there's no one back of me, so we're going to go slow to try to get some nice views of that mist over there. Oh, it's just incredible. One degrees. So being on North Shore and the further away we're going from the dam, as I said, the colder it should be getting. Let's do this. I am hoping we do hit the teens on this drive. Remember, it's only an eight mile difference from the dam to where we're going right now, to the very end of the valley. And at this point, we're about halfway through. Just, maybe just under, just under the halfway point. There's Bear Mountain right there. Oh gosh, you guys. 
I know I'm annoying, but this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. I, I wish every one of you could be here right now. It's even without snow, it's just so beautiful. And I can guarantee you from this point on, you're not gonna see any snow. But Baldwin's gonna look beautiful. It might have some uh, some frost everywhere, so that might make it look pretty cool. And with the temperatures being so cold, with that sun just beginning to hit our our lower atmosphere here, it it could it could make for some beautiful beautiful stuff. So stay tuned. Those of you who are still with me here, don't forget to like and subscribe. Help me out. I'd appreciate it. Um, and obviously, if you want to get some awesome new merchandise from the Big Bear Weather and More store, go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com. And place your order today. We have a bunch of cool stuff. We've got, uh, because of popular and high demand requests, palm beanies are, are, are gonna be available soon. We have our regular beanies still, but the palms will be available soon. And uh, last but not least, don't forget, if you want your skis and snowboards waxed up for free, go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. It's Get Boards Ski and Snowboard Rentals. And if you mention the channel or mention me, they will do it for free. And those of you who want to rent equipment, that's where you need to go. You'll save a ton of money by renting there instead of going straight to the resort. I urge you to do that. I'm here to help you guys save. Um, and also they've got the best equipment also. The high-end equipment, the really good stuff. And they not only have rental stuff, you they've got stuff you can purchase as well. But they, they have everything when it comes to skiing and snowboarding there. Temperature's 20 degrees. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get down into the teens. I'm just interested to see how low we go. How low can you go? Dun, 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 dun. How low can you go? All right, so this, inter this, this decent intersection we're coming up to with all these green signs up here. Once we cross this intersection right here, this Highway 38 becomes Highway 18. To stay on 38, you turn right here, which is really weird. But yep, now we are on Highway 18. Heading towards the backside. So this will take us down to Lucerne Valley, Apple Valley, Victorville, all those areas. 29 Palms, Yucca Valley. Oh yeah. Temperature just went back up to 20, but uh, I'm hoping or to 21, but I'm hoping it'll it'll drop the further around the bend we get. I'm telling you, this car is so unbelievably smooth. I love it so much. Dare any raindrop to plop in my eye. <laughs> On a wonderful day like today. That's crazy that I'm singing that song. Like, at the school I went to in Newport Beach called Carden Hall from kindergarten to, through sixth grade, that was the song that we would, that, that we learned, and I still remember it, which is just the weirdest thing. That was a good school. Literally the first year I convinced my parents to take me out of the private school is when I started getting involved in, in uh, not so not so good things. Always been a pretty good student, 
when it comes to grades, but yeah, as soon as I went to public school, my life started falling apart. And that was back then. Nowadays, man, if, if folks can afford private school or homeschool, that's your best option these days. But not a lot of people can. I know I can't. If I had any kids right now, they'd, you know, I'd find some way to homeschool them. But... <sighs> okay, we're still at 21 degrees. I'm telling you, it's just so incredibly gorgeous out here. You just gotta be careful because uh, the road could have a little bit of black ice on it. Definitely don't want to deal with that right now. The rare time I take out the new car, I crash it. That wouldn't be good. Especially because a big reason I don't don't drive it much and just put the better insurance back on the car was because for the last year, why I didn't drive it was because I crashed my previous car. It was my first accident ever, and it was in the summertime. It had nothing to do with ice or snow. I just wasn't paying attention and. Uh, I needed a car for last last winter, desperately. And I got this one and then the insurance rates went almost three times as much. And between my Harley and, and my two Subarus, it was like just over $1,000 a month and there's no way I can afford that. So I had to put this car in storage mode. And I also got a uh, my registration suspended because of that because they said that since I don't own the car yet and the bank still does that the bank requires a certain amount of insurance and uh, I didn't have the certain amount of insurance so I knew that I could just keep my my registration suspended since I wasn't gonna drive the car and then pay the $14 fine when I'm ready to get the proper insurance put back on the car so that's that, that that's what I did. I just reinstated my insurance on this bad boy. And that's why we are enjoying it. Look at how beautiful that is. Just B-E-A beautiful. Come on, temperature drop for us a little bit more. Show me some love. If that sun wasn't up right now, the temperature would still be falling over here. And it still might. It just still might. Stay straight right here in about a quarter of a mile you'll start going down the mountain towards the desert and it's a beautiful beautiful view out there also when we do get the bigger storm next next week I will go all the way up there so we can take a look out over the desert and just uh, look at how beautiful that view is gonna be but for right now because of lack of snow we're just gonna do the basic complete valley tour no way, the valley tour, yeah. No way. Alright. What's that? The temperature's 20. Come on, let's get down to 19, baby. Come on, we can do this. I told everyone it was gonna get into the teens over here. Don't do me wrong, okay? It might happen right around this corner right here. Because we're in the shade. Come on, baby. Come on. I remember one of these, these drives, I was just wishing to get down to zero degrees. It was about 14 degrees on the opposite side of town and when we got over here it got all the way down to one and I was just just dying begging it to go down to zero just begging it to but no of course it didn't 
Of course it didn't. Just like right now, it'll probably stay at 20. The reason we're pointing out the side window a lot is to avoid the, the messy windshield. And yeah, you can see a lot of frosty looking ground over here. But it's definitely not from the snow. I mean, maybe actually. Yeah, you know what? I could could be wrong. I, I didn't expect to see any of this over here. I, I really didn't. So that's good to see. That's good to see, but I did not expect it at all. Dang it, temperature went back up to 21. Well, guys, I failed you. I told you I'd never let you down, but I just failed you. Hey, horsies, you guys must be freezing. Poor little horsey horsies. Poor little horsey horsies. Hey, look at the dinosaur. Dinosaurs. Hey, dinosaur. He's eating Christmas presents. That's not, that's not cool. With a big smile on his face, eating the little kid's Christmas present. That's not a nice dinosaur. I'm really surprised to see all this over here. Again, guys, it's it's most mostly a frost type of a scenario over here, but I didn't even expect to see that much. I just said that we might see some good frost over here, but I, I really didn't expect to see it. But yeah, we're looking out over Baldwin Lake over here. some equestrian stuff there's equestrian stuff all over Baldwin Lake it's a beautiful area beautiful place to go horseback riding one of these days we are going to do a video where we uh, rent some horses and uh, go cruising I think that would be absolutely awesome and I hope you guys enjoyed that that video that's gonna happen it's just again you know financials man all these bills that I didn't want to have to have, I have now. And they just keep on piling in. Thankfully, even though I stress about it every day, I get it taken care of. But that's why my wife and I, we don't do anything. Because we don't have anything left over. If I didn't have the three or four car payments, because I pay for my mom's car too, my life would be so much different right now. My wife and I, we'd, we'd be able to travel... We'd be able to do more stuff to help other people. Because that's the end goal, is to get myself in a position to be able to give back, inspire, and uh, help people. A couple times in my life when I was making okay money, you know, I, I, I was always doing for other people. And maybe to a selfish point because it feels so good especially helping people who are trying to help themselves like giving folks a hand up I believe in that big time I don't believe in handouts not at all for someone who's just sitting on the couch no motivation or ambition to do anything I don't believe in that at all but for people who are working their butts off and just are not getting ahead at all those are the people who someday I will be able to help. Someday. But just like they say on an airplane, you got to put the oxygen mask on yourself first so you're able to help others. Because if you're not breathing, if you're dead, you're of no use to other people. So that's why I got to get my stuff together. You know, I've been doing my other business for about six and a half years with literally not one day off. The best part is I do a lot of driving for my other job so I can do the channel and my other job at the same time, commingle them. So it's just like kill, kill two birds with one stone. It's, it's absolutely wonderful. But someday, 
someday the hard work will pay off. Now we're on the other side of Baldwin Lake. We, 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 uh, we just came from that hole, that, that other end of the screen that you just saw where all those mountains are over there. That's the other side of Baldwin. Okay, temperature drop back down to 20. Well, come on, give us 19 just for a second. Just for a second, please. Right here, right about this spot, right here, is where I recorded the coldest temperature that I've seen since I've lived here. I, I think it was like minus 12 degrees. It was brutal. The car I was driving at that time, literally at the same time, I, I broke three out of the four windows of the car. The internals, I wasn't thinking, and I wanted to roll down the window to feel how cold it was, and I hit like all the windows and only three of them activated, but I heard pop, 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 <laughs> and then the windows weren't working after that. So that's another thing you guys need to remember. If you come up here when it's really cold, do not roll down your windows, especially if they're automatic windows. And here's Highway 38. This is one way out of town. That'll take you down to Yukaipa and Mentone. That's my favorite drive. And for most of you, I always suggest taking that, even though you hit the highest elevation on the mountain range for, for roads by far. It's, uh, it's still the, the best, safest route. This side of the mountain range doesn't quite get as much snow as if, you're, if you come up through running springs and stuff, but there are times when they can get obliterated up here. So you gotta be extra cautious, but that's the route that I would send my mom on when I'm, I'm worried about these roads. Um, there's less cliffs to fall off. Don't get me wrong, there's, there's still some, some, some dangerous edges but it's nothing like taking 330 or Highway 18. And Highway 38 also takes you kind of parallel to the mountain range while you're in the middle of the mountain range. So it feels like you're in a much bigger mountain range. Um, it, it's, it's, it's my favorite route of them all. Of course, when you first come up here, it's pretty special to, uh, to drive up 330 and 18 because of those incredible views, but I like driving in the middle of a beautiful mountain range like Highway 38 presents itself. Well, just went up to 21, so we didn't make any teens. If I would have left maybe 20 minutes earlier, instead of hit the snooze button, we would have been good. stoplight up here and then it speeds back up to 35. Temperature's jumping. Temperature's jumping. Right up here for the two of you still watching because it's a long video a friend of mine and he's a friend because he basically treated me like a local from day one showed me a lot of love a lot of respect he owns two smoke shops up here called big bear smoke and vape there's big bear smoke and vape one and big bear smoke and vape two the Smoke and Vape 1 is here in Big Bear City on the right-hand side, and I always try to help him out because he's a really, really nice dude. Um, his prices for everything in his shop are not like all the other, or most of the other shops up here, which are fairly pricey. Um, I know a lot of people that drive down the mountain to get their smoke stuff, but not only does he have the smoke shop on that whole bottom floor, but they've got other little big bear trinkets and 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 some some shirts and hats and 
just cool, cool little, you know, cool little trinkets. And I always like to send you guys in there to at least check it out. Cool shop. I know a lot of people like to vape and stuff. So if you go in there and you, and you tell him that I sent you, he'll take care of you as well. And I do not vape. I don't do any of that. I do the Zin pouches, but not that that much. Um, yeah, there's there's no special deal I get. I, I'm not going to refer you guys somewhere, um, like a just just to refer you. Like if I'm getting some sort of a special price or or like something on the back end, I'm going to refer you because. I want you to have the best experience with what you're trying to look for up here. For instance, at the ski and snowboard rental place, he's, le he's letting me use a, a, a set of ski rentals. I mean, that's, that's, which is super cool. Tony is super, super cool. But I'm referring them because they're a great shop and they have a good reputation up here. And he decided that he'd be willing to, you know, let me use a set of used skis to go skiing. So that's that's all I get out of it. And when I say that's all, gosh, don't I'm not trying to sound un, ungrateful at all. That's that's more than I even wanted. But as I said, my goal is to make sure that I give you guys the best referrals for anything you're looking for up here. And that place, Get Boards, has a killer reputation. And they have a few different shops up here, like a couple back-to-back -back blocks. They've got some shops. And it's over kind of close to the village on Big Bear Boulevard, right on your way to Snow Summit and on, and on your way to Bear Mountain. But yeah, I, I don't have any, like, uh, I don't get a commission or anything like that. So I don't want you to think that that's the only reason why I'm referring you to these places because it's not again I'm doing it because I want to help Maybe since we're running a little bit early right now and we made this drive in good time, maybe we'll drive by Bear real quick when there's no one there, no cars, just to uh, get a nice little peaceful view of beautiful Bear Mountain. Not as bare as it was yesterday, but still pretty bare. cool Ford Ranger right there. When I was younger, I really liked the Ford Ford Ranger. My first car was a Toyota Corolla, and then a Toyota 4Runner, and then a Ford Expedition, Eddie Bauer. That was when I was selling Fords at Theodore Robbins Ford. I got a brand new Eddie Bauer Expedition. And after that, it was a Mercedes ML 500. That was when I was selling real estate. I got that brand new as well. I had that up here at, at the beginning of, of my stay. At that time, I think it was about 12 years old, that car. That's the car where I blew out all the windows. Um, and then after that, I got my white suit. Or when my grandpa passed, since I was taking care of him, he signed over his his little Saturn, which was cool that I had an extra car to drive for the first time in my life. But that just sits at my house. I don't have the courage to get rid of it because it's all I have to remember my 
by my grandfather other than his ashes. And then, uh, yeah, I got my, my white Subaru. And then two motorcycles. And then this Subaru. And hopefully I don't need anything else for many, many years to come. Right, we're going to turn here on Moon Ridge Way. Straight ahead you can see Snow Summit Ski Resort. It's always so beautiful. All right, we're going to be able to go after this white car. Gosh, you got to love the turbo. You got to love the turbo. Moon Ridge Road, folks. This is where we started, but we're gonna go the other way now. As I said, there, uh, the resort's not open yet, so hopefully we don't have any issues getting there with uh, traffic control and stuff like that. We shouldn't, we should be fine. side and go through bear the back way the way that everyone else isn't going oh okay go ahead go ahead buddy go ahead go ahead so i think they're only letting employees on the right hand side at the moment at least that's how they used to do it when I was working for the mountain you gonna ask everyone a question buddy whole town is driving by the golf course right here especially when we have some snow in the mountains you can see the snow machines blowing up there that poor golf course that grass is so dead but I'll tell you what our golf course maintenance guys there's this guy Mike he's the he's their their lead guy he does such an incredible job this golf course is always in pretty darn good condition for the few months that we can golf up here all right so welcome to middle moon ridge I said we're going to uh, just go by by the resort real quick and then we will be we will be done run right there oh, 
parking lot's getting full. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do that beautiful side view again. We're not gonna walk out there today, but we're gonna just go up to the top real quick and do a nice little side view. And as you can see, we're coming into more snow on the sides. Not much, but we're coming into some more snow. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, you know what? I think. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I'm going to turn off the camera and then do that. There's a bunch of workers out here, so hopefully I don't get kicked off. But we're just going to go real quick to the snow machine. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Might as well end on that. So, thank you guys again for cruising. Appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. Show me a little bit of extra love. I'd appreciate it. You guys show me a lot of love anyway. Um, 
as I said, for your rentals and snowboards, go to Get Boards. And if you have your own stuff, they'll wax it for free if you mention that I sent you. Um, if it's a newer employee who doesn't know, ask for Tony, the owner, and they'll get it all figured out for you, okay? But in the meantime, thanks again. Go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com for your merch. Hang on. Hang on. Bam! For your merch. We got it all. Love you guys. Thanks again for everything. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of year 2023. Peace out.